In this video I prepared for you a Git VS Code tutorial, so you can use it efficiently inside your favorite editor. And as you can see here inside VS Code, I opened a fully empty project, which is not binded to Git at all. Now let's try to create here a new file, for example main.js, and write something inside like console log main. Now how we can jump to the git tab? In order to do that, you can select here view and source control. But as you can see, the hotkey is kind of bad, because for example, explorer is with command shift E, search is also with command shift F, but source control with control shift G. In order to change that, we can jump to code, preferences, keyboard shortcut, and type here source control. Here is our key binding, which we want to change to command shift G. Now in order to switch between your file tree, you can just click command shift E to open your explorer, or command shift G to open the source control. And the first thing that we are seeing here is that this folder currently is not under git repository, and we can initialize it. So when we are clicking initialize, it is simply the same like writing git init inside the console. Another thing that we see here is our changes. So here we have a toggle with all changes inside. And the only file that was changed is our main.js. When we are clicking on it, we can see the change. And here is the marker that this file is untracked. This is why here you can see you. So here we have several important buttons. First of all, view changes will show you all changes in all files. For example, here I want to jump back to our explorer and create a new file todos.js and console log here todos. Let's jump to our git and as you can see in changes we have two files. When we are clicking on this icon, we see changes in both files. Green is obviously what we added and red what we removed. Now here additionally we have a button discard all changes. It will simply revert everything to the previous state. The next button here is stage all changes, which means add all your changes to git. And yes, we want this, so you can hit here plus, or you can add plus on specific files that you want to add to your commit. I will click here plus, and as you can see our files were moved from changes section to staged changes, which means they are not only tracked by git, but they are also added to the index of our commit. So these two files are inside our commit, and in order to make a commit, we can write here created two files. And here I will click commit. As you can see, nothing really changed, but our commit was created. So this is essentially the state where none of your files are changed. Another thing that is important to remember when you are working with git inside VS Code, in your settings you want to enable workbench status bar. Why that? Because it allows you to work with git in a more efficient way. Why that? As you can see here on the bottom you have lots of stuff, but what is interesting for us is the branch. We can click here on our main branch, this is the branch which is created there by default, and we are getting several options. We can create a new branch, we can create a new branch from and we can create a detached state. What you typically want to do if you are implementing some feature is to create a new branch. And here we can write for example feature implementing to do's. I am hitting here enter and as you can see in our status bar we are now on feature implementing to do's. I am sorry for interruption, but I just wanted to let you know that only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. If you really want to continue getting videos and support my channel, consider subscribing, it helps a lot. Now let's jump back into the video. How we can jump to another branch, I am just clicking here, we see all our branches or we can search for them, I can click here on main and we are back on main, I am clicking on feature branch and we are back on that branch. Now let's do some more changes, so inside our main file, let's say we want to import our function from todos. So in order to do that, I want to create a function render to do's. It's just a function and inside we have console log to do's. Now inside our main, I can import function render to do's from our file to do's. Now here I want to remove console log and simply call render to do's. Now let's have a look on our git. These are two our files, we already know they were modified. This is why here you can see a letter M and on hover you can see that it is modified, and here we can check all our changes. 
So first of all in red what we removed in main.js console log and here in green what we added. And same here. Obviously you can close this file if you don't want to see it. And here on the right you have two important buttons, either stage changes, which means you are adding them to your future commit, or you can click on open file if you need to update something. So let's say that we want to add both files to our commit, this is where we see this stage changes, and now we can write finished to do's feature. I can click here commit and our changes are committed. But now the question is how we can see all our commits inside our project. And you can do that when you activate your explorer tab. Here on the bottom you see two things, outline and timeline. And when we click on timeline, you can see here lots of different things. Here, first of all, you see an icon regarding git, and here is just a bubble of files saved. So this is a mix of local changes and working with git. What I really like to do is to use filter. You can click here on filter icon, and you can disable here local history, and then you just see the history of the git. So you can simply select a commit and you can see what was done in that specific commit. So we already see our commits, but how we can deploy them somewhere? We don't only want to work with Git locally, but we need to push our code to some remote repository. And in order to do that, we can jump back inside our source control and we're clicking on publish branch. As you can see here, we're getting the extension GitHub wants to sign in using GitHub because by default VS Code is binded to GitHub. We can click Allow and we are clicking Authorized VS Code. After entering a password we can click Open Visual Studio Code. And this is what we are getting here. First of all here is my repo, git vs code, and here is the possibility. We can either publish it to GitHub as a private repository or as a public repository. I want to select here private repository and here we are getting an information that it was successfully published to this URL. We also get a question if we like VS Code to periodically run git fetch, yes we do, and we can close the status. As you can see my project was directly pushed to GitHub with all our branches like feature implementing to do's for example and we can see our changes and also our commits. Now let's do more changes and publish them again. So what I want to do here, I want to just update file render to do's. We see our changes here, we can add them and we can commit them. So changed render to do's. And here as you can see we can not only commit, but also commit amend if you need to update your commit message, but also commit push and commit sync. Typically I am just clicking commit to make a local commit and then you are just clicking sync change and it will push your commits to the branch or if needed it will first pull the changes and then push them. So I am clicking here sync changes and as you can see it says this action will pull and push commits from that branch. And we can select here ok don't show again. And as you can see the message disappeared we don't see any files which means we successfully pushed it. Let's reload again, as you can see now we are getting 3 commits, and this is our last commit change render to do's. So this is the basic workflow with git, if you need more, here on source control you can click and you are getting quite a lot of stuff. You can just call like push, pull, clone, checkout if you need, fetch, also different commits, changes, stash if you want to stash some changes, create tags and much more. And additionally to that, if you are curious what git is doing underneath, you can always click show git output and check what commands are being executed exactly. Now let's say that we want to merge the changes from our branch to the main. This is why here let's jump back to our main branch and we can open command center with command shift p and write here git merge and I'm hitting enter and as you can see we can select a branch or tag to merge from and in our case it will be feature implementing to do's. I'm hitting here enter and it will merge all our changes to the current branch. As you can see here the list of our commits is exactly like it was on the previous branch. Now here we can jump to git again and hit publish branch because we are on main we don't have anything to commit but we want to push our changes. And as you can see now on GitHub, all our changes were merged to the main branch and we pushed it to GitHub. And we updated our remote repository. 
So now you know how to work with Git inside VS Code, but if you want to achieve a really minimalistic look of your VS Code, make sure to check this video also.